Yeah, hello, my name is David. Uh, my username is CheapBooks. Um, uh, this video is about a spotting bug that has appeared uh, in August in one of the recent patches. I don't remember. I think it was the earlier patch in August. And uh, people question, they say, oh, you don't know how spotting works. This is the leaderboard. It's called the Hall of Fame. You'll notice it says seven days, and I don't play every day. I only play it a couple days. I play only on the weekends. And it's only been two days. I haven't, you know, it's a Saturday. I don't, didn't play Sunday. It says, all people, I'm ranked number 20 overall on the North American server. You scored higher than 99.98% of players. Um, my highest position, I believe, was number 9. So I understand spotting. This is the spotting category that we're talking about. I know how spotting works. I know the mechanics of spotting. There's a bug in the game in regards to spotting, and there's more than one bug. There's at least two bugs, and what it causes is tanks to disappear, not necessarily because they're close to you. People only notice it when they're close to you, but even tanks that are far away from you, that's a video rendering. So a tank that's far away might be spotted, but it disappears. And I've seen that happen. I didn't save the replays. But this is going to show the replays that I did save. And there's absolutely no question that it's a bug in the game. And people are in denial about this. Again, I'm ranked number 20. I know how spotting works more than just about anybody. There's a bug in the game. Watch. If you have any questions, play the video over again. Yeah, this video is going to show a bug with World of Tanks. It's a very strange bug. This is the only time I've ever seen it. The LTTB, I'm going to use the auto-aim. And I'm going to... Look how close he is to me. I'm going to lock on to him. However, he's going to run away and I'm going to reverse. So the auto-aim will be locked on. And then he's going to drive to that building off in the distance. And when he gets there, on the way there, he's going to disappear, which should have released the auto-aim, but it doesn't. When he gets to the building, I'm going to try and reconnect, and I'm going to put the mouse over his tank, and I'm going to click the mouse button to engage the auto-aim. But what's going to happen is there's going to be an audible message that's going to say that the auto-aim is being disengaged, which means that the auto-aim was locked on to that tank the whole entire time when it should not have been because that tank is going to disappear. So watch what happens. Target acquired. It said target acquired, which means I engaged the auto-aim. However, when he disappears, it should release the auto-aim. I'm going to do it in slow motion. Okay, so you'll notice that that tank has disappeared, and then it just reappeared again. And the thing that was weird 
is that the auto aim remained locked on the whole time. And when I was playing, the tank was invisible for a longer period of time. He disappeared almost immediately. What you see in the replay is not an accurate reflection of what I saw in the game. The replay it only shows him disappear for a split second. However, when I played the game, he disappeared almost immediately, and I just assumed that the auto ga- uh, the that the auto aim was not locked on anymore. And look at where my gun is pointed. My gun is pointed nowhere near his tank. His tank is all the way over there, and the gun is pointed in that direction. However, based on the audible message, it impl- it, the auto aim is still engaged. Now he's going to go over to where the house is. The gun is behaving really strange. Okay, now finally, the gun. Okay, when the gun moved is probably when he reappeared while I was playing the game. And when the gun was just kind of aimed off in the wrong direction, was probably when he was invisible during the game. So watch what I do. I just see him reappear again. So I want to go engage the auto-aim again. So I'm hovering. If you look at the, the little dot, there's a little dot. What you'll see is now... That little dot is outlining the tank, and the reason why is because I want to engage the auto-aim. But what happens, it says, let's find another target. I put the little green dot, got the red outline, clicked turn the auto-aim on, and it said, let's find another target, which implied that it was turning it off. So that's a bug in the game. And I know it's hard to understand, and there's a bug in the replay system also, which makes it more difficult to explain, because the replays don't show what you see in the game. In the replays, tanks disappear all the time. So uh, that's what I saw. It's a bug in the game. Hopefully they'll fix it. Yeah, this video is going to show a bug regarding spotting, but this is going to be really weird because what you see in the replay is what you're supposed to see in the game. I'm going to go over the hill. There's going to be a Centurion tank, and I believe it's a T-34. However, what you see in the replay was not what I saw in the game. You're going to notice, based on my gameplay, that it's as if the Centurion were invisible. Although in the replay it shows the Centurion, when I played the game it was not there. I'm going to go over the hill. The Centurion will be directly in front of me. But because it was invisible during the game, I didn't know it was there. I didn't shoot at it. So I turned away, uh, and there was a T-34 off in the distance. Well, you know, not that far. So uh, the T-34 and I exchanged fire, and then the Centurion hit me on the side. And you'll notice my reaction. I was startled by it, and I immediately turned the camera because I just had no idea it was there. I was like, where did that shot come from? You know, I know that it's over here in the corner. Now watch what happens. I'm going to do it in slow motion. Okay, when I played this game, that Centurion was not visible to me. It was 100% invisible. You're gonna. This is exactly how I played it. This is the free mouse mode. You can see there's a tank there and that one there. In fact, I think they were both invisible to me. But what you're going to see is even though it makes sense that I would shoot at the Centurion, I came over and I saw nothing. Look, at my gun is pointed at the Centurion, and I don't like I said, I don't even think I saw the T-34 when I played the game. Until he fired his gun. I saw the shot come in, so I turned towards the T-34. Okay, so again... They were both invisible when I came over the hill. And at this point, I I knew that there was a bug in the game, but I had no idea that the Centurion was here. Now watch how I react when the Centurion fires his gun. Right there. Now you can see that that was at half speed, but you can see what I did. When... The Centurion fired at me, I immediately turned the camera, well, okay, there was a a little bit of a delay, towards him to see what was there. It was not there when I played the game. And again, neither was the T-34 when I crested the hill until he fired his gun. He was not not visible. And what I've noticed about this bug is that 
in almost every case, tanks are invisible until they fire their gun, which implies to me that it probably has to do with the camo rating. It, they probably have infinite camo until they fire their gun, because firing the gun affects your camo rating. That's probably what causes it.